Good morning and welcome as we continue our daily devotions from the book of Hebrews. Today we're looking at Hebrews chapter 10 verses 26 and 39, but I'll read uh, verses 26 and 27 for you now. For if we go on sinning deliberately, after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful expectation of judgment and a fury of fire that will consume the adversaries. So imagine this moment, you just got caught. There's that knot in your stomach, that sinking feeling. Your mom found out that you lied to her about where you were last night. So in this moment, you have a choice, a decision to make. Will you continue to lie or will you tell the truth and confess what you did and where you were? Would it make a difference if you could see how worried your mom was last night? Would that change your decision to lie? So the truth about sin is it doesn't just affect you, it affects everyone around you. And if we could see the way that sin hurts those who love us, we might pause before making the same decision again. And the same truth is true in our relationship with God. So God is our Heavenly Father who loves us. He's not some distant, distracted, detached being out to get us. As Christians, we're held to a high standard because we know the truth of God's word. We know just how high a price God paid so that we could be called sons and daughters of his. It cost him the very life of his son. Now, we might not be able to avoid or escape every temptation, but we can overcome it when temptation strikes. So when we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, he shows us how to make better decisions in the face of temptation. So 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, promises this, No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. The way of escape is none other than his son, Jesus Christ. Have a great day.